G'day Scott, Shane Miller here from Wayne Phillips Ford down at Christie's Beach in Adelaide. Just with a quick video of our 2017 Everest Trend that you've inquired on. Uh, lovely vehicle, late 17 build, so October 17th uh, first start date of warranty. Um, it does have the tech pack and has had a set of uh, black alloys fitted as well. So with the tech pack does give you the uh, driver assist lane changing um, at the same time your adaptive cruise control. Um, the trend gives you the chrome grille, uh, fog lights in the front, front and rear sensors, electric lift tailgate, side steps and uh, a lot of car for the money. Um, very nice cars to drive in the 3.2 uh, with a six speed uh, transmission. Really is a very comfortable, easy car to drive, Scott. I'll just walk you around, 18,000 Ks, sold and service from you uh, by us here at Wayne Phillips Ford, um, and uh, a lovely car inside and out. Presents as new as it should with 18,000 kilometers. They have been uh, fitted with an all-terrain tire uh, in a Maxxis, and, uh, and still plenty of tread there on the, uh, on the wheel. Uh, you've got colour-coded mirrors with indicators in the top there. And with the trend as well on the four-wheel drive, does come with a uh, heavy-duty tow pack. Rear sensors and camera along the back bar there. A nice chrome garnish along the bottom there with the Everest. And as mentioned, with the uh, touch tailgate. So, press of a button. Electronic lift. And seven seats at a 50 50 split capacity. So, good thing about the Everest is it does give you the rear seats with anchor points. Um, so, it is literally a, uh, a five, five anchor point seating vehicle. Uh, plenty of room, great space and leg room in the back. back. Otherwise, with them down, it does give you a huge amount of boot space, nice wide and high capacity with this 12 volt plug already in the back. So to pop that down, you just touch the button, down goes the boot. As mentioned, sensors along the back bar there. And as you can see, both sides of the car, very neat and tidy for a black car, no shopping center dents, um, no scratches, nothing like that whatsoever. And a very stylish car in the jet black, I must say. Very healthy balance of new car warranty. Still on a warranty till 2020. And I'll just come around and show you inside the vehicle. But to start, Scott, I'll just show you the back seat. Unmarked, unworn, untorn. To be honest, doesn't even look satin. You've got a drop down armrest in the center. And you've got a uh, dual cup holder system there as well. Down in front, you've got a, uh, a rear aircon unit, which gives you control of the rear air fan uh, mode and also temperature. You've got a uh, an AC inverter there as well, 230 volt or 150 watt, next to a 12 volt plug too. So that is a built-in inverter to just a standard household plug. As you can see, they're very clean and tidy, no scratch or scuff marks on the car. Coming around to the driver's side, Exactly the same story. So as you can see there, the trend giving you a very stylish interior um, and very modern interior as well. Again, seats unmarked, unworn, untorn. You've got all the service history and logbooks there. I mean, 18,000 Ks, there's two services in the book. First 3,000 and the 15,000. So next service due at 30,000 kilometers. Electric mirrors uh, and mirror fold up the top. Then you've got your lights with an auto headlight function, you've got mirror, um, sorry, headlight dipping, so you can adjust the angle of the lights. You've also got uh, dash dimming, front and rear fog lights, and that's a boot lift button there as well. Indicator stalk on the right, wipers on the left. Good thing about that is you've got a button on the end of the stalk which uh, controls your um, lane change technology. Um, so you can actually have three different modes of lane change uh, assistance. So it can either just give you an alert, it can aid, or it can give you alert and aid um, that you are veering over the white lines on the road. 
cruise control on the right hand side of the steering wheel which gives you the adaptive cruise control um, controlling the distance between you and the vehicle in front um, and then on the left hand side you've got audio controls Bluetooth and the two pads on top directional uh, what control and let me just turn the car on they control both screens on the top there so as you can see there um, You've got your taco on the right hand side. You've got your adaptive cruise control there as well, which is the uh, the little car there in the lines. So when I turn that on, you can adjust the distance between you and the car in front. Fuel gauge, temp gauge there as well, and your odometer underneath. So from there, you can actually change that screen to different modes to have your trip computer, your economy, driver assistance, and change your settings in there as well. So that's probably the standard one, the easy one to read. Um, then on the left hand side, you've got your um, either your phone connectivity, which is Apple CarPlay or Android CarPlay. You've got your satellite navigation, or you've got your uh, entertainment to what you're listening to, whether it be a radio or CD or MP3 or whatever it may be. Um, I tend to uh, prefer to have the nav up just gives you a play-by-play uh, -play of where you're turning. Seven airbags are standard. Driver, passenger, side and curtain airbags. You've got a uh, five-star ANCAP safety rated vehicle. It is a Sync 3 system, so it does have, as previously mentioned, your Apple CarPlay and your Android CarPlay built into the unit. Um, huge reverse camera um, with your reverse assist, so it actually uh, changes as you turn the wheel. You can see there you've got a ghost line. Um, which shows you exactly where you're heading and that top car in the right corner just tells you um, sensors front and rear as to how close you are and, and whatnot so uh, automatically goes back out of that as soon as you take it out of reverse um, nice and easy satellite navigation system to to use um, you've got all different audio options so with your sources AM FM digital audio Bluetooth streaming and then you've got apps that you can download as well, depending on which phone system you're on. You do have a touchscreen uh, climate control unit there too. So you can have dual zone climate or, uh, or uh, just a unison climate. That includes front and rear. Um, and you have full control over where that, uh, that goes. Underneath you've got the hard buttons for that control unit, but you've also got your CD um, insert section and your volume and tune control. Two 12 volt plugs underneath two USB ports underneath that and then you've got your four-wheel drive system too. So you've got a rear diff lock option, you've got 4x4 low range, um, you've got uh, traction control stability control off button and your parking sensors off button as well. Different mode of driving um, at, a, uh, at your fingertips so that does give you a complete control, uh, adapts the way the vehicle handles and uh, also gets you through some sticky situations sometimes depending uh, how seriously you are going off-road if at all. Um, you are also uh, able to utilize that middle button there which is a, uh, a downhill descent control. So that'll actually control any downhill descent where you just take your foot uh, off the accelerator, cover the brake and let the car do the rest. You steer um, and it is a very incredible four-wheel drive technology. Park reverse neutral drive is a standard transmission uh, in the six speed and you do have a sports mode and sequential shift where you can gear up and gear down. Uh, dual cup holders, plenty of storage in the centre console, and as mentioned previously, sold and serviced by Wayne Phillips Ford from new, um, and uh, a lovely vehicle. For any other questions, please don't hesitate to give me a call. Again, Shane Miller from Wayne Phillips Ford, 0418 859 359. Scott, I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you very much.